As Spanner is a <coughs> product design company. Okay. We're a consulting agency, and that means we're a group of people, there's 20 of us strong, who are senior product designers. And a product designer is a blend of an industrial designer and a mechanical engineer. So, yeah, that's really good. To, and what, what kind of like products do you actually make? Just so like, yeah, what kind of things do you actually produce? Um, like a lot of consumer goods, you know, smart, connected stuff. Um, but it can be, you know, like uh, you probably have seen some, like uh, in some, you know, like Fitbit, GoPro. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we worked on the, you know, um, project of our Google phone, like uh, home appliances, um, agriculture tech. Um, it's pretty, yeah, very it's wide, broad, pretty, yeah. pretty broad. So. Basically, like I just think of like maybe two scenarios. Someone has an idea of a product that they want to make, and they can come to you. And a lot of times, you'll do everything from the initial thoughts and concepts, all and, and even like the guts of it. You're not just making the like, the the outer outer pretty part, but you're actually right. making the functionality of a product. Mm -hmm. And is that unique? <clears throat> I mean, it seems like this is like what you do is like everything. I mean, like most people just do like one aspect of that. We um, we consider ourselves a hub of that. Okay. So when a, someone comes to us to with an idea, yeah. we can put together a team where our core expertise is um, designing the product for production. Okay. So we can. Get, de get that done. It's usually mechanical engineering, often, uh, but our, uh, we partner up with other experts. Okay. For example, electrical engineering would be one, software would be another one. Acoustics, so they're all combined. Yeah. Thermal, and there's okay. a lot of stuff involved. There's a, there's a lot more than we can handle by ourselves yeah. in doing a product. So I can imagine someone's like come up with like a product and they've been working for a while and they're like, okay, I just, it's not working. There's something, you know, maybe I hire this group or whatever, and it's not working, and then they come to you and you've solved the problem. Does that happen? Yes, a, a lot. lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> for like, and it's, it's funny because it uh, could be like for like, you know, startups, the, you know, one guy who has this like, tried to make that work, or it could be very, very large companies mm -hmm. like, you know, like Google or uh, very, you know, big companies like that who've been like trying to solve that problem and need some, you know, fresh look at it. And that's, I think, what we, like really enjoy doing is like give us like a hard challenge. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you um, actually really like enjoy that? I mean, is that like a challenge? It's kind of like a you know like a yeah a challenge. Like, oh, I want to see how I can fix this mm -hmm. X Y Z. Yeah. Yeah. Often we'll start a program and we'll go, oh my God, what have we signed up for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little much. Yeah. yeah. But you know, when you break it down into the the program and the the. The, with the tool set we have, we have a, you know, we can lay out a program with various steps along the way, so we can tackle pr problems and solve them. And it, it's yeah, it's all about creativity, and I think we hold like, at Spire, like, uh, you know, beyond like uh, tinkering and like doing Legos or what's not when we were kids. So, um, yeah, solving problems, being creative to find like new ways uh, to like actually like solve problems is really. The, think what we really enjoy doing apart from all the rest but that yeah. I think the bus yeah or well you see like yeah you need to like come up with new ideas and brainstorm and like that's and it is stressful but but, but yeah. very rewarding well that's why you have Abbott Square right across from you to go to get a coffee and relax yeah. for a little bit yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't think there's like Anybody that I know that I see more at Abbott Square than you two. Uh oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you, you seem like you have that one one day break. It's always like over there. Yeah. I think yeah. we have a brass plaque over there. Oh really? Yeah, and you have like a special table. Yeah, the yeah. spanner table. They yeah. clear it out as soon as we get. There. <laughs> That's what. Um, so I want to find out because we talked about it earlier, but I mean, it's not like you're just designing pretty little things, or you're not like I you know it's. There's math involved, there's science, there's like this engineering, all this stuff, and the artistic side all blending into one. Um, how did, I guess let's start off with, go with um, Damon, like what, how did this happen? How did you get into this world of design? Hmm. Uh, I guess started like a while back. I think my first 
when I was can I ask my dad? Old. But like you know, I think that's typical cliche for engineers and like creative people. Like I, their dad was a um, no, no. I, I I I I remember I was like two and a half and I completely like disassembled this Harlem clock and it was like pretty late at work. <laughs> but at, yeah, I really enjoyed like <clears throat> basically breaking things for a long time. Yeah, and then like doing the opposite, like fixing things. And uh, yeah, understanding how th stuff work. I, I know it's all about, at least for me, like uh, curiosity. <clears throat> like you know, mm -hmm. there is this this packaging and uh, or like look at your like computer and like it's beautiful. Like but like inside it's uh, usually quite a mess. And I'm I'm kind of interested. I've always been interested in like figuring out what's inside. And oh my goodness, that's, that's your whole life looking around. Like everything is like something designed and <laughs> yeah. So I always yeah I always been you know doing like sketches and like having like you know inventions and what's not and and that I guess led me to like yeah engineering yeah. and and that part of engineering where um, we yeah we help it's, it's not only engineering what we do and that's what I think we love at Spanner is like you know understanding what's the 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 vision of mm -hmm. the people who like come to us and and what exactly they want to bring to the the user to the world and like making that into reality through you know, complex, and but actually it's like complex products that are very easy to use. I think that's that's always the equation you need to solve. How about you now? Um, in a similar fashion, I um, I would tear things apart and never get them that's back together. That's always the answer, I tear things apart. <laughs> I'd often get them back together and then I'd have a handful of fasteners left over. <laughs> and it's still the case to Ikea this day. Ikea all over again. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think it's curiosity. Uh, once you start going past that threshold of curiosity, mm -hmm. then everything is game, right? Mm -hmm. you, you, you inevitably want to just tear something apart, see what's going on inside. Anything that's broken at home, you know, you go, okay, I'll fix that. Yeah. Even if you're not successful, you're going to learn something about it. And you'll learn about the dis engineering and design decisions that someone made on this product 20, 30, 40 years ago, which is fascinating. That's cool. So, I mean, your job is, it sounds pretty challenging but in like a challenging like you enjoy it it seems less of a job and more of like I could just come to work every day and solve these little problems it yeah. is and, and and like you work you know like that's why probably you see us at our square but like <laughs> we need like you know when you like try to solve a problem many times like you know you try for like an hour two hours four hours and then at some point like you see like it's asymptotic like you're not doing <laughs> any any progress so you, yeah. you need to go outside and many times you know, like I'm, I'm doing my whatever, like shop, grocery shopping, and I'm like, boom, I get the idea. Like I just see something that, oh, of course, that that's that's the solution I've been looking yeah. for, like in my office, <laughs> and so um, that's mm -hmm. yeah. The so way we in Santa operate. Cruz, it's it just seems like there's a lot of design going on, a lot of hardware. I mean, this is like it's become a little hub for this industry. Mm -hmm. um, you have you start a new group. What's that group? That, well, it's not new now. It's been like almost a year now. It's a year now in existence. Yeah. Just over a year. Yeah, so what is that group? It's called the Santa Cruz Hardware Group. Okay. And we're an open group. Uh, we have probably under 100 people in our group right now. Okay. And we're a, blend, we're a mix of everybody involved in the ecosystem of creating new products and bringing them to market, manufacturing them. So you have an event coming up really soon, like next week? That's the right. 30th. Yep. On right. the January 30th, yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll be visiting a very cool company startup uh, building like huge planes right here in Santa Cruz in Live okay. Oaks. Not uh, Joby. Not Joby. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, they're going to be marinas. So. Which are amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, the, the idea of that group was to. Um, um, just gather the people around, like interest doing actually, like you know, product design some way, and um, and have a space and a moment where we can, you know, be together, um, um, help each other, and uh, also like discover what you know the, the amazing stuff that are actually happening in Santa Cruz and that many people like have no idea. Um, even the people who are like working as product designer or like whatever mechanical engineering and, and electrical engineers like industrial designers uh, so yeah that's uh, and so that's the call January um, 30th it's gonna be in the evening time right there'll be like pizza or food or something yeah it's yeah. 5 to 8 p.m. there will be like yeah, drinks and uh, snacks and uh, they're gonna um, the founders and the whole team can we mention uh, who the company is or is it secret? No, no, no. No, it's called Camp Six right. uh, because the the founder um, 
is a big climber. Okay. Oh, really? Is that, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that was it. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, it's amazing. This, this basically huge drones. I guess mm -hmm. they're there, but they can carry like <clears throat> they can a lot lift, of weight. <laughs> yeah, like more than two hundred pounds autonomously. So it's basically a huge plane that just flies by itself and. The amazing stuff compared like to any existing drone is that it can like pick up like cargo like whatever like you want to uh, transport and it completely silently. That's so, so cool. It's so cool. kind of amazing. If people <laughs> want to find out about this event, where do they go? So they can uh, find us on LinkedIn okay. uh, if they type Santa Cruz Hardware Group okay. or if they go on the Spanner product design website, they can send us an email and we can like redirect. Okay, and I'll also, not on LinkedIn. we'll put a link on the bottom of the video as well if you're watching the video. Um, and then if they want to find out about Spanner and uh, uh, if they need a product they need help with, where do they go for that? Abbott Square. I was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that they can find one. us there um, Monday to Friday. 10, 10 o'clock, uh, <laughs> yeah. Usually. Uh, uh, SpannerPD.com. Okay. And uh, they can, yeah, uh, shoot us an email and we'll be happy to have a coffee. Great. Hey, well, thank you so much for coming on the show and look forward. I know I'm going to be there on January 30th, so look forward to uh, and maybe then, yeah. get on the drone. Get your tickets because they're like... They're yeah, going, going, okay, going to RSVP. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, well, thank you.